Okay, it started. Excellent. <coughs> okay, so um, do you see a connection between uh, Samba and Apple? Uh, yeah, actually, there's a. Um, a, a good connection between samba and capoeira because of uh, the the how capoeira was pursued as a uh, as a vagabond martial art um, like since the blacks were doing it, and a lot of times they were associated with gangs and um, thievery and things mm -hmm. like that sort. Um, when they would have capoeira hodas or circles, um, they set it up in a certain way that they would have a mix of different people, and they would have um, the um, how would you call it the um, other religious um, sects or um, they usually were dressed in white and things of that sort. So what happened is like they would mix that the 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 candomblé with the with the um, with the art itself. Um, and in in candomblé in Bahia itself, they had this room called this dance called Danza de Vente, uh, which is a belly dance basically. Um, so a lot of times to to bring in the energy, they would have the bayanas, the people come in and they would dance. Um, and they would have, you know, um, social dances with, with, with uh, the people. Um, so um, when there was a capoeira hall, a circle, um, in order to throw off the, you know, the outlaws yeah, aspect, so, right. you know, to throw off the people who were looking from the outside, the overseers, the police, right. the military, oh, you know, when they would come and say, oh, there's a capoeira hall, there. let me stop this, let's, let's, let's get this all going. They would send in the women um, to dance uh, with the partners. Mm -hmm. So dancing wasn't legal. So they would come in and they would dance to ensemble and things like that. They, they would change the music um, to um, adapt to the samba. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's a lot of rhythms that you'll see on the one of the instruments that are played is the bidding bow. Uh, it's a bowed instrument, um, you know, gourd, and um, maybe you have pictures of it That's later. Very, very um, they would change the rhythm so that they would be dancing to this particular rhythm and have the the male and female counterpart dancing. And there has different types of samba called samba jihada, uh, samba duro, uh, samba de mulher, uh, samba de homem. They have different different samba dances that would um, uh, capitulate women and men dancing, men men and men. You know, battling. You know, mm -hmm. like they call it samba duro. They would fight inside of this dance. Um, some of the mulher, just the women dancing itself. Um, but they would use that as to to throw off whoever was coming in to mm -hmm. see what was going on. Um, and once the um, overseers were gone, they went back to playing capoeira. Right, so right. the connection in capoeira and samba is really strong. Well, um, until, they until kind they... of blend. You know, blending these arts together to keep a culture alive. When they first, when the, the overseer, the slave masters first saw Capoeira, from what I understand, they didn't realize that it was actually a fighting state, uh, a fighting martial arts. Well, I guess it was in doctrine that, you know, if anybody was seen practicing, there was a, there was a, um, a, a law mm -hmm. um, that was written in Brazil that mm -hmm. said, that if they saw anybody that looked like they were playing capoeira, carrying any instrument that looked was associated with capoeira, they would be arrested. Um, they would be flogged. You know, um, they were so so. They would go so as um, militant as cutting the ankles of a person mm -hmm. if they mm -hmm. if they were you know federal you know they were right. more right. than first offenders, second offenders. Right. You know, right. they would exile them. Right. Um, so they had to hide it and make it look like. Um, more dance like so they added some acrobatics they added some other things mm -hmm. into it they added distance in between mm -hmm. um, and plus adding that that element of um, samba in it but the samba wasn't just for um, to show off the women they were there were women that were capoeiristas who were just as good probably even better than some of the guys mm -hmm. um, now, let me let me let me yeah. just ask you to interrupt yeah. for a minute samba I read somewhere 
I don't know if it's Portuguese or what it is, but Samba uh, means to pray. Um, Candomblé means, uh, has a meaning of dancing for, or honoring the gods with dance or mm -hmm. something to mm -hmm. that degree. Mm -hmm. So I would, I mean, if those descriptions or translations are correct, mm -hmm. then it would seem that those two in particular would have a greater connection perhaps than we do. Mm. Capoeira mm -hmm. in each of them. I think it was a way to to mask what was actually going on in the circle. So we evolve. Oh, right. So we evolve, you know. They they involve to evolve. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Danza de Ventri is the dance um of the, the, the samba basically. Mm -hmm. The the old type samba, there's two types of samba. There's the real samba, the Rio de Janeiro, and there is the samba de Bahia. Right. Um so the Bayan Samba, the women are dressed in full white gowns, mm -hmm. full white outfits, mm -hmm. um, basically, um, uh, you know, portraying the Candomblé, um, mm -hmm. the mothers, okay. you know, uh, they call them mais, you know, um, vovos of, of the art. Um, so they would dress and they would dance a certain way that they would move their hips, but they couldn't see their legs moving. Mm. You know, so they would move and the dress would move and things of that sort. And the samba, the, the samba of Rio de Janeiro is more flamboyant. You mm. see the hands moving, the arms moving, um, you know, a lot of hip movements, um, low drops, things of that sort, more mm. sensual mm. in that aspect. So um, people who learn capoeira also get involved with the samba part of it because that's a way to actually express yourself. So a lot of men and women, they go and dance and they do this thing um, in the capoeira hola. Uh, when they start doing samba, we um, the men will distract the guy that's dancing. Mm -hmm. They maybe bump them or something or sweep them or right, right. or if they're if the if the guy is playing a pandero or something like that, he would give it to somebody or pretend that okay, well I'm distracting you so I can take your girl. You know, right, type right. of thing. Okay. And the women would do the same thing. The women would come in. If they wanted to dance with someone, they would um, basically do the same thing. Sweep the woman or distract her, bump her out with the hips right. so they can dance with the next person. So it was more like a, a game that you, you, right. you play. You know? right. So it's all involved. It's, it, it has evolved into what capoeira and samba are are today. Right. You know? Well, now it sort of reminds me. Uh, see, one of the similarities I'm seeing with the actual Spanish-speaking culture, which Brazil, of course, isn't mm -hmm. in Portuguese, um, is uh, you mentioned certain instruments mm -hmm. for capoeira, mm -hmm. uh, for samba. Uh, when you think in terms of santaria, at least what I witnessed in Cuba, mm -hmm. I was told that rumba, Rumba is directly tied. There may be other dances, mm -hmm. but bomba, 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 bomba yo, bomba yo is mm -hmm. out, of, out of Puerto Rico. Out of Puerto Rico. So yeah. we, well, we'll talk about that too. Yeah, that's, Cuba, that's Cuba it. has you know yeah. everybody has their stuff. Afro Cuban, Afro you know, um, Puerto Rican, you know, Afro Caribbean. A lot of different styles. They have that dance. You know, they have that. Um, that historical thing, and um, also they do have it in Brazil as well, called ashe, ashe dance. You ashe. Know? Yeah, so you're drumming. Like the and, African word ashe. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they call it ashe. You know, you you you're drumming, mm -hmm. and the people are dancing to this. Um, you know, they let in a drum talk for them, making them move with the drum. You mm -hmm. know, so all of this is kind of associated. All of the diaspora, the diaspora is like all connected. So so deep. Even Jamaica has right. their has their dance. And, um, well, all that Caribbean was actually, without language distinction, was was part of Latin America. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. um, and of course you got the English, you got the Spanish, and mm -hmm. if you go further down, of course, <clears throat> to Brazil and South America. Mm -hmm. Brazil's got the largest land mass in South America, right. but it's surrounded by mostly Spanish people. Right, Chile, you know, Argentina. Right, yeah, right. yeah. But Brazilians will not consider themselves Latinos. Okay. You know, just because of their their heritage, their mm -hmm. Native American heritage, their, their, their Native Brazilian heritage, mm -hmm. um, the Tupi Guaranis, the, the natives that have, have uh, you know, that taken over 
you know, that was the first, you know, the inhabitants, the indigenous, the indigenous. Um, but um, they're in their in doctrine of the Portuguese, the um, uh, the African. Um, there's also there's a big population of Japanese that are in Brazil. But they when did they get there? They were in the I guess they were in the like the World Wars, the World War One, World War Two. They 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 emigrated from certain places because of wars. Mm -hmm. um, and they, in Sao Paulo, I think there's, a, there's the biggest population of Japanese mm. Brazilians, you know, um, but they still keep the culture, they still keep the language, but they all consider, that's the one thing about Brazilians, no matter where you're from in the region, you're considered Brazilian. It's not like, okay, you're Brazilian, um, Japanese, you're Afro-Brazilian, you're Portuguese Brazilian, you're this Brazilian, Korean Brazilian. There is no, there's no distinctness right. between that. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, there was a whole thing uh, for Bahia and all the areas that um, were um, were that had enslaved people. Um, Ceará. There's the Pernambuco, um, Rio yeah. de Janeiro. Um, the, Pernambuco the, gets uh, Palmares and stuff. Pernambuco has the Palmares up there. Right. Yeah, Palmares. Um, but all that Bahia, you know, all the way down the coast. Um, it was the, these were the closest that were to Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, why they were more, four million or more slaves that were um, kept being trafficked mm -hmm. from Brazil because it was a shorter route. Right, it was right, a shorter right, route. Right. Um, the, um, the Americas had less, um, maybe um, 700,000, you know, right. or so. Um, but slavery continued in, even through the golden the golden um, law in 1888. Um, they still had slave trade going on, you know. Besides them saying, "Oh, we're going to close it off. No more slaves," you know. Things going back to what you said, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's so important. That's why I use maps in my work, right? Because people don't seem to know where they are, where things are. Mm -hmm. If you look at Brazil, it does appear that millions of years ago, it may have fitted directly into the west coast of the African Bight mm. in particular. Now, mm -hmm. forget about that for a minute. There are currents in all of the oceans, in the Atlantic, as well as in the Pacific. And I've seen charts of those, those um, currents. And like you said, the first stop is Brazil. Mm -hmm. The next mm -hmm. one takes you up the South American coast into the Caribbean. Right. Last stop, America. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let me just take you, because unfortunately we can't keep you forever. No. I, can't, I can't afford him. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you think of, well, with your knowledge of martial arts, are there any other that, that you would feel are dance like? Talking about martial arts. Besides, like the one from Besides Mozambique, Kabul. Mozambique, the uh, Lanye, um, if you ever get a chance to look at it, mm -hmm. um, the, the martial art of Mo Mozambique, it, is, it appears like capoeira, but it does not involve, the only thing it doesn't involve is um, the beating balls, uh, mm -hmm. the string instruments. Mm -hmm. They play drums, mm -hmm. they, 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 they build up their energy and they they dance with each other, but they're swinging. And the idea is to get the person down on the ground mm -hmm. and keep them down until you know that's that'll be how you win. Okay. You know, you get them on the ground, you know, you get up. Thing. But you're dancing, you're dancing, you're throwing techniques, you're swinging, you know, you're doing all these different things. Um, but you can sweep, you can take people down. Mm -hmm. Capoeira, the same thing. It was a lot of sweeps and takedowns. Um, um, but there is, even though there is these dance like martial arts and you said Jogo de Mani, um, there's other arts. Um, I don't know what they call it in Jamaica. It's a, it's another fight art. I don't think it's sticks. There is ones they use machetes. But is it dance like? It is dance like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay. actually, um, the um, Filipino martial art of um, Arnis. Um, Kali and Skrima, they um, thrive their art on movement, on dance, um, because of the the Spaniards the, the the Spaniards would look at them as if they were trying to 
um, you know, learn how to fight, but they would do this in ceremonies um, and dance, you know, make the movements and choreograph um, the dances in the art itself. I had a whole article on um, Makulele, which is a, the stick machete art of, of Brazil, mm -hmm. and, and Escrima um, of um, the melee origin. Oh. You know, and how they're similar, how they're similar with music and hiding and, you know, and fighting and teaching a person how to defend themselves within the music, within the dance, within the choreography. Um, and, you know, those are the ones that I kind of know of. Um, the the Lamye and the, uh, the um, Arnie Siskrima, you know, plus Capoeira, of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, in terms of dance, in terms of song, music and song, mm -hmm. that has been, a, I mean, it's a part of many cultures, but mm -hmm. I think it's really, I don't know when we've heard a time that the African diaspora or in Africa itself, they don't use music right. and dance, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's and, and not necessarily for entertainment but for as a spiritual quality, right. as a, a ceremony to get your spirit right. <laughs> the first cell sense. phone. The first cell phone. You, you announce who's coming ah, yeah, you know, yeah. from far away. You, know, the drums, yeah. you, you announce the drums and that's your celebratory time to right. beat that drum, to, to connect to your heart. You know, when they have these circles, that's one of the reasons they probably keep people in a circle. So when they drum, mm. it keeps that energy in. We always, mm. this is one of the things in Capoeira, is you break the circle, you break the energy. Mm. So everybody forms a circle to be um, around the way that the head of the drums, the bidding valves, everything is set up a certain way that they're in the front and everything closes in around them. Right. You know, so okay. you can only enter in one place, you exit in the same place, you know, mm. but you never cross the circle. You always come in a certain way behind, you know, anytime you want to come in, you come out and you come to the head or the bulk of Jehovah, the circle of the, the, the opening of the circle, you know. Is that where, is it usually in a particular place? In other words, when you have the beat and bow and the various musicians, they're mm -hmm. in one portion of the circle because they stand together. They'll be, they'll be in the middle, more or less, and the drums will be on the outside. And depends on how people set it up. They have the drums, the, the one drum on the outside, a, a, a pandero, a, a tambourine on one side. They have gogos, they have um, heco, hecos, the scratchers like the gear. Uh -huh. um, but you only have to, you can only go in from the head bidding bow. You know, whoever is leading the, the circle, mm -hmm. you can ask, you ask permission to go in. Oh, okay. And if you don't ask permission to go in, you can't just jump in unless they say, you know, it's a, what do you call it? You're buying the game. Mm -hmm. Buying a game is another type of um, thing that you put your hand in front of the person you're playing. You, you're putting your hand in front of the person that you want to play with. Mm -hmm. And then you go in and you start playing with them. So you usually go with the person who's fresh in the, in the circle. So yeah. you keep keep it continuing and continuing and continuing until they feel like stop it. You know? Okay. I, listen, as I said, we could talk forever. Yeah. yeah. And you, you've given us a great uh, lesson or lessons, mm -hmm. but I'm going to close with this and I'm just going to ask you, are there, do you know of any books or sites that people could learn more about Capoeira in particular, but Brazilian culture in general, especially when we're talking about the candomblé, we're talking about samba, which mm. you already explained, mm -hmm. I think, very thoroughly. I mean, you know, you mm. start to lose me. <laughs> which ain't yeah, hard. I get excited. So. Yeah, no, no. Uh, the, the information has been great. But if there's anything that you could add. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. Meshti Accordion, which is one of the founders of, um, uh, of some of the art. Uh, in California, um, actually, he's probably the first who had um, Capoeira who was in California in the mm -hmm. 70s. Um, he, he has several books, Mestre Accordion, you know, uh, it's spelled like accordion, basically, mm -hmm. but not the English accordion. You'll see it on the right. yeah, accordion. If you look that up, his Bira Almeida is his name. Um, he has a lot of resources on on the the art itself, how Contemplé, He's a he's a practitioner as well. Um, how they um, integrate the art, you know, how you integrate the spirit. Um, there's a lot of different, um, you know, my mesh they mentioned Homeo um, from Brazil, um, R O 
R O M E O. Um, he's also a good um, resource of uh, this art as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different uh, people. Um, um, Meshti Gaivota, uh, which is like my brother, he's in Bloomfield area. He's in another American Kapurista. Um, he has a plethora of knowledge on the 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 art, the kind of lay culture. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Meshis out there. Um, Meshi Mutu Tempo, there's um, also Meshi Malandro, uh, Malandro uh, which he is uh, one of the predecessors of the Luta Hegenal Bayana. Mm -hmm. um, he is his, he, he's a direct descendant, uh, he's a direct student of um, Meshi Nenel Machado, which was um, Meshi Bimba was his father. Mm -hmm. So he's like third generation in. Um, but he's another resource um, as far as that's concerned. Um, yeah, anything online, you look up Candomblé. Um, but so those are some of my resources. Meshi Accordion, uh, Meshi Malandro, Meshi Gaivota, um, Meshi Muto Tempo. I'm also his Meshi, Meshi Amen Santos, uh, is in California as well. These are guys that who have, um, who have given me art, um, Prowess. Meshi Amen Santos is the one who created the movie. Um, he was in the movie um, Only the Strong that everybody has learned Capoeira from. You see, ba -na -na -we. if you know that song, you know, you'll see, you know, um, Meshi Amen Santos in here. He's a teacher of Mike Dacascos, who was the star of the movie. But all these resources are online, free to go. If you're in the area, take a class somewhere. Um, I only have classes on Saturdays at Southpaw Gym in Neptune, um, 11 o'clock. You can come by and check it out. Um, there's Bloomfield, um, West Orange. Uh, there's California. There's a lot of places on the East and West Coast. So wherever you're looking from, look for a couple of If you're in this area, Monmouth County, come check me out. Yes. yes. All right. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Mestre? My, um, How do you say My that? title is uh, Mestrando Stagiario, okay. which is um, a stage of master. Oh, you know? okay. All right. So, all right. Yeah. Right. Baiano is my nickname. Everybody comes with Baiano. All the Brazilians know me as Baiano. Okay. So, well, yeah. in, in Portuguese, they say, is, it, is the term mestre? Mestre, mestre, right. mestre. Uh, and basically means so means also teacher, like teacher, maestro. Yes, yes, right. that's basically what mm -hmm. the name is. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, we thank and we have had a great lesson. Oh, I want you. to thank Brother Casey Sanders and do look him up, uh, not only to gain some knowledge uh, in terms of the philosophies and the history, but to learn the art form. Mm -hmm. You know, you want. Karate's not the only thing. <laughs> so until next time, peace and blessings. Thank you.